Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. Welcome to Epcot. Uh, no. No, we're actually in Rome, roaming around Rome in Georgia, not Italy. We're on the grounds of Martha Berry College. Martha Berry is the lady who started Berry College. There's some really neat grounds. Jessica's really excited to come up here because the house, Oak Hill, is the house they used in a movie. What is it, Sweet Home Alabama? This is the the house, they, the big white house, I guess, that one of the dudes lived in. This is it right here. This is the house from the movie, right there. It's on this really cool hill. I guess that's why they call it Oak Hill. There's a lot of racket going on right now because they're washing it. So that's cool. It's going to be nice and clean. But look at there. Looks really pretty. We're gonna get a little closer. All right guys, so as you can see, there it is. Oak Hill, the former residence of Martha Berry, built in the 1880s, and this was actually where Martha Berry lived as a child. Later acquired it uh, as an adult, designed it to her likings. She donated the home in the 1930s, and it's pretty much left intact just how she left it. This is really cool. It's, and there's also like different weird stuff around. Like this guy um, seems to have been uh, attacked. The only other thing I've I've seen that happen from is from an encounter with Predator where he shoots his thing. Anywho. Still looks pretty good, but he's probably seen better days. Yeah, that looks pretty rough. Looks pretty rough. But I mean you can see this is this it's called Oak Hill out here, because we're on top of the hill. There's there's the uh, the house up there. Looking over this way. Over the hill. Let's go a little closer and take a look. See what we can see on the outside. And as we walk up this way, we go up these steps here, up on the hill right now. But look here, this place is cool. It's built on the old, like, I guess, Greek Revival style, I think is what they call it. We've got these big steps and these massive columns here and a really nice porch it's with a really high ceiling. They got some oh, rocking chairs. Seems pretty nice just to sit on here and just Look out over there, probably see like the wildlife and stuff. And here's a little guide to the gardens and grounds here. Oak Hill. Let's see, she hired this guy from Philadelphia, old Rob Cridland, to oversee the project. They call this style the Colonial Revival style, made popular by the restoration of Colonial Williamsburg. But anyways, we're gonna go down this way because it looks really cool. So back to the front porch here. As we look here, come down these steps and around to this reveal, oh man, look at that. That is beautiful. You know what? We're gonna take a walk right down this way. It's beautiful. This, was, this is really nice. Listen to those birds. If you can hear them. And this cool fountain at the end. And this, I guess this would be the formal garden. Oh, that bird. Oh, never mind. But this is cool. It's got a nice old style rock pathway. And a really nice fountain out there. Look at that. Well, that's really cool. That's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool, that nice little fountain area. But Jessica pointed out that when we were looking at that fountain, and there was actually another fountain. We're gonna go look at this other fountain here. Should be pretty cool. Because, you know, fountains. And on to this way, to this other fountain over here. Jessica just said that this is a goldfish garden. And I see, oh, there, there are goldfish in there. There are definitely fish in there. See those? Goldfish. This is one of her least favorite spots because she felt cramped by the wall. If the wall didn't cost so much, she would have had it torn down. But she ended up liking it anyways. I don't know if you caught that, but Jessica was saying that this was Martha's least favorite garden here. She felt like the walls were cramping her in. So I guess making her feel claustrophobic or something. To me, it feels pretty open, but I've never really had a garden before. The only reason she didn't take the walls down is because it was very expensive, so. 
not everybody is immune to that cost of, of things. Whoa, we are definitely on a hill. Going down these steps here. Precarious duck and low trees. Huh. Survived. Easy. I can do it again if I wanted to. Probably just as easy. Oh. Look at this tree. What the heck? That is some of the strangest bark I've seen. See the bark on that tree? So we're pretty much just walking along these trails here. So on that note, there's trails here. Not only is there like houses and, and gardens and fountains and stuff to look at, but there's nice little trails to go across the, the grounds and everything. And it's it's nice. It's, it's definitely different from what we're used to. Being from Florida, it's flat. So this is cool. I like this. Elevation is good. It's like 3D versus 2D. We're also not used to this elevation going up and down, so we might get a little tired, which is okay because nature, nature's on our side. You see that? That is a stone armchair. Lazy boy, but it's a rock. I think I'm gonna try it out. It's not bad. Pretty comfy. <laughs> nature. Mother Nature. She is full of marvels. This is wonderful. Is it comfortable? Yeah. Would you sleep on it? If I have my stuff. Dude, that chair rocks. <laughs> <laughs> We're just walking through the woods here. This is a lot of nature for me. A little bit more nature than Jessica's used to. Oh, look at here. It's a nice spot. So, just walking around, and every time we make a turn, we find stuff. We find some stuff. I don't even, I don't even know what this is or where it came from. It's like some sort of amphitheater, maybe. Here's the reveal. Wow. What is this? What is this place? I don't even know. All right. So I found a thing, a sign. Apparently. This is the sunken garden. So the sunken garden was added in 34 after Martha saw a similar design while traveling in Pennsylvania. She wrote to old Cridland, old Bob Cridland, she saw, quote unquote, such a lovely little amphitheater this summer while at Pocono, adding that, I thought if we could have some terraces, we might have a delightful spot for entertainment. And of course, Cridland designed the terrace garden as an iris garden, of course, right? Well, I mean, what else is there? The Kwanzaa cherry trees, a gift from the Emperor of Japan. Wow. Which ones are they? Is that these? Is that, are these the cherry trees? These were a gift from the Emperor of Japan. They were added in the late 1930s. I think that's these right here. This is amazing. This is neat. This is actually pretty cool. This is, this is cool. I like this. The sunken garden. It's a garden, but it's sunken. See, there we go again with that three-dimensionality. And these trees are a gift from the Emperor of Japan? What the heck? How do you get a gift from the Emperor of Japan? These cherry trees were a gift from the Emperor of Japan. Oh my god. You guys. <laughs> Here's the bottom of this sunken garden. Cool little chair up there, possibly. It's really cool up this way. As we walk up these steps, it might look really cool as well. Walking up the hill. It does look really cool. And the reveal. Oh, 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 oh,
It's a big old tree. Nice looking tree. Let's see if we can see the house from here. Look at this hill. That is quite a hill. And there's the Oak Hill house right over here. Where we were earlier. Well, that looks nice. <sighs> smell those boxwoods? I love the smell. I don't know if those are boxwoods. I love the smell of those things. These guys right here. Remind me of my ancestors, grandparents, old house. Had these all along their little walkway. Really like the way these things smell. I think we're gonna go to the backyard. It looks bigger in the movie. I guess this is the backyard. Jessica said it looks a lot bigger in the movie. Yeah. A lot smaller in real life. Movie magic. But it is still beautiful. This is nice grounds. It's a so. good place to live. I'd, I'd live here. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can tell, but these seats are kind of precarious. We're sitting on one here. Just over the edge, down there. That is a, that's a, I mean, it's not really far, but it's far enough. Not a good bench to lean back on and, you know what, let's, let's actually get out of here. <laughs> I'm not feeling, I'm not enjoying that. I'm not enjoying that feeling much at all. Hmm. We're just walking down, walking down the path. We're actually about to end the video because we've seen it, we've seen it all. But, came around a corner, We've not seen it all. There's there's more to see. So we're going to show you a few more things. So stay tuned. Don't click away just yet. There's more. Like this, for instance. This old, uh, looks like a old churchy building. Churchy-like building. It's on a very steep hill. It goes, goes down that way. Way, way down there. So it is locked. Um, so we're not going to go in there. It's probably dangerous. It's a little pathway here. This little thing. We're, we're not gonna go, we're not gonna go down here. But, here's a, some people probably go down there and into that. As we pass that, there's another thing here, this bridal, bridal walk, whoop, there. Bridal walk. So it's a part of Cridland's original landscape plan. The walkway features rose trellises and ends at a gazebo. Here it is. This is the bridal walkway. This is these trellises that I guess they had roses across them at one time. Maybe. This is a long pathway, but I bet it looks really pretty when it's all all done up with the flowers blooming and everything. There's some roses. Nice. What a neat area. And there's a cool gazebo at the end, which, uh, you know what? Let's speed it up and get to the gazebo. All right, so we've made it to the gazebo. Here, as I spin around, here it is. The gazebo, actually, yeah, it's really nice. Man, more pathways. The summer house, summer house, welcome in. Big summer blowout. <laughs> Check it out. We're in the gazebo. Walking all the way, all the way from down there. Martha Berry invited her former students who've been married to walk down here to make a wish because it was a bunch of rose roses all the way down the walkway and then they came to come over here and make a wish whisper so that's this that's the gazebo the wishing gazebo the wishing wedding gazebo let's see what else we can find by accident okay uh that's pretty much it for oak hill oak hill Barry Martha house. That was really cool. Yes. That's actually, there's there's a lot to see. There's even more to see than we even showed you because, uh, well, we, we didn't look at it all. Hope you enjoyed it. We appreciate it. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the stuff, we're still going to do more of this stuff. So even if you don't like it, we, we like it. We will see you in the next one. But for now, far as we're concerned, that's pretty cool. Yeah.